my name is Barry O'Reilly. Um, I run a company called Black Tool of Technology, and we work with research within software engineering, architecture, and the complexity sciences. We work with education, obviously, uh, and we work with consulting um, around large, complex architectural projects and with executive coaching around software architecture and the building up of architectural teams. Um, I've been doing this for a very long time about 25 years. Um, I've had senior positions as chief architect and the global lead for solutions architecture at Microsoft. I've worked as a CTO at startups uh, and nowadays focus mostly on educating architects um, and making sure that large companies have um, the, the necessary architectural capacity to deliver in, in, in today's world. If you take the course uh, Modern Solution Architecture, you'll get a bunch of tools. And what we do in this course is we take the traditional tools of architecture and we look at them perhaps a little bit critically and we fuse them with ideas from the complexity sciences, entirely new ways of thinking about what is this problem? What is the problem that we as architects are meant to solve? And how can we work alongside software engineers, agile development teams, um, and work in modern complex business environments where everything's changing all the time and the demands on architecture are ever increasing. And the tools that you get will, be, will help you to manage in situations where there are no clear requirements, where no one actually knows what's going on and where everything feels just too complex to deal with using traditional tools. So Cloud Architecture Fundamentals is a course that's about cloud, that, but also isn't about cloud. It's about how do we design architectures in a modern world where everything has changed uh, beyond recognition, uh, thanks to some, not just the cloud itself, but the patterns that have informed cloud architecture. And in this course, you'll learn what are the, the basic patterns of a distributed system? What is a distributed system? Why are these things more difficult than what we've traditionally worked with? Uh, within software architecture. What's the difference between a, a distributed system and a web application or a desktop application? And we'll look at the major changes that cloud has brought to architectural thinking that whether or not you work with cloud today will eventually end up in your data center. And how will you build applications in 2025 and 2030? It will look like this. And it's a strong focus on distributed systems engineering. And this is one of our more technical courses. So this goes, this goes pretty deep. The course Advanced Software Architecture turns all the knobs up to 11 and pushes the idea of complexity science into architecture in a way that delivers a completely unique set of tools for navigating complex environments, for understanding things that maybe aren't even clear, that maybe aren't even understood by the business themselves. Um, it gives us a set of tools that are based on a scientific research project that show us how do we, how do we build something when we don't know what that something is. And this gives people an entirely new tool set that is uh, unique. So these courses are all directed to um, a large group of people. So you might be a senior architect, an enterprise architect, and you feel that over the years, what you've been doing in enterprise architecture has removed you a little bit from the technology. You might feel that your even the need for enterprise architecture is currently being questioned. We've also had project managers who want to know how do I interact with the architecture um, function in a project? How do I know when architecture is delivering? How do I know, how do I do this as a project manager? We've had agile coaches who've had the same questions. How do I interact with architecture? But mostly senior software engineers and architects are looking for the next step. So when you take the certification, um, which will require that you've done all three of the courses, it's going to be about showing that not that you've learned something, not that you can recite something, but that you can put something into production as an architect, and that's the key skill. And the purpose of this certification is to give Sweden um, a, a group of architects who are capable of delivering uh, within 
extremely complex environments under extremely challenging conditions. The certification is divided up into three meetings. The first meeting will introduce what it is that's expected of you. And what you will produce is something called a life stream, which is your journey through a project as you try to apply the ideas that you've learned on the courses, as you try to read material and absorb new architectural tools and show us that you can uh, absorb and critique and improve an architectural tool for a specific real world context and how you use that tool to get to a set of solid architectural decisions and then be able to put that into production with confidence as an architect. The second meeting um, will follow up and we'll see that you're on the right track and we'll see that you're using the, the tools in the right way, that you're completing your life stream, that you're showing us that you have the capacity to both deliver and to learn as you deliver, which is an exceptionally important skill for an architect. And the final uh, meeting in the certification, you'll present, present the architecture that you've built, you've present the journey that you've been on and you'll show us how not only have you delivered as an architect but also how you learn on that journey, how you absorb that learning and how you use that to prepare yourself for your next engagement, for your next architecture. The point of all this being that at the end of this you'll have uh, proof in the form of a live stream that I am someone who can take a large project in a complex environment and deliver uh, in a consistent fashion.